Hi there, this is Fixed It. I'm about to start the process of installing the limit switches in the Z-axis of my 3020 CNC router. Um, currently, you can hear it. It comes up and it hits on the top. And it hits on the bottom. Now what I want to do is to make sure that it doesn't actually come up, hit the top, otherwise it's going to shred the gears that are in here. So what I need is a limit switch. Problem is there's no easy way to attach a switch onto the spindle or onto this platform, there's very little uh, space. What I plan to do is to attach a plate here with the intention that this switch will sit on the plate. I've roughly cut this piece of angled aluminium and drilled a hole in it. Now what I'm going to do is to uh, fit it here. So you can see that's in place. So I'm going to drill a couple of holes in this plate that will fit this micro switch. There's the piece of angled aluminium I've made with a little switch on it and as you can see it switches as the uh, z-axis rises. Dealing with the bottom of the z-axis is a little bit more problematic but what I'm trying to achieve is to make sure that the bit doesn't crash into the bed. Finding a place to put a switch on the lower z-axis is extremely difficult until I came up with this. This is a very very small micro switch which I've polymorphed onto a piece of error board. There's a gap here at the side so I can slide that switch down there so what I plan to do is to have that switch glued in place so that just before it hits the bed it will flick this switch which will be the Z limit. So what I need to do now is to wire those two micro switches together. The two switches are in place so I'll just turn on a continuity tester and check it. Coming up, that's it, circuit broken, back on, let's wind this all the way down, yep, spindle's getting close, and before it reaches the, the deck, it now cuts itself off. So that's it, the switches are in place, and now what I need to do is to uh, route all this wiring in the usual way. You'll have seen that in my previous videos and set it all up and I'll show you that in the next part of the video. Hope you like the video so far and if you do please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with others. Thanks for watching. Bye.